what they say, early bird catches the worm. Just finished bumping some blow block. Uh, not a bad session. Quickly show them now. There you go. Some cracking worms here. Some really good sized worms. Uh, compared to my size 9 valleys. Probably about 100, 150 worms there. Some lowly worms. Bass spaghetti, bass candy. Uh, supposed to be meeting up Craig and Oliver. That's why I end up pumping more than I need. Well, I'm just gonna hang around and wait for them. And then. Uh, get on the bus this evening right got some visitors here all that beach people walking right next to me with the docks <clears throat> get these worms sorted now just gonna quick clean them and uh, get going I'm not sure where I'm fishing yet in the daylight Love the day, it's supposed to be about 13 degrees, most of sunny. I think it goes a little bit with uh, light showers, uh, mid afternoon. Yeah, low tide was half seven this morning, uh, set off uh, about half five, got here quarter to a quarter past seven, just before low tide. And uh, greeted by a lot of casts. Uh, by far the best time, the best time to pump worms in the springtime. Um, worms do breed in the winter. Uh, if you're a bait digger, you know how hard it's been uh, digging worms this winter. Uh, up until a few weeks back, uh, in the springtime, and they start getting loads of worms in. But it's ideal today, nice dry weather, sunny. Loads of cast. Been here oh, an, an hour, hour and a half. Maybe coming up to two hours now. Just took my time. Walk around the beach and uh, found loads of worms. But I'm gonna get here, give these quick wash, clean them, and uh, prepare them for this evening. I might end up fishing in uh, Lynn Peninsula. Go ahead that way maybe. Kill a bit of time. If Craig turns up, he'll be here with me uh, about 5 o'clock late afternoon. So I'll stay tuned guys, uh, get back to you uh, in a bit. I fished here a few years ago, uh, roughly around this time of year. And I uh, managed to wrinkle a few bass. And I never got to uh, fish it again. But it's too bright at the moment and it's um, slack water, dead on the high water now. You're fishing the uh, best on the flooding tide here. And uh, fishing better at night. Or I prefer overcast. I think uh, it's going to go overcast in an hour or so. So I might have a better chance then. Uh, tide, tide the ebbing then, I'm not sure how it's going to fish. Just kill a few hours here while. Uh, I'll wait for Craig and Oliver. They're setting off soon. It's a good drive for them. Uh, we're fishing around the uh, Lim Peninsula this tonight. Well, tonight. I've been getting loads of questions uh, on my videos uh, re uh, recently, especially on the bass one. People asking where I'm fishing. Well, I'm not. I'm not gonna expose my bass marks. If you know where I am, you know, you know where the, where it is. But uh, people asking where are you fishing? Not even saying it. Like oh, well done, nice, nice session, things like that. Um, if I if I expose the marks on 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 the channel, some of my bass videos getting like twenty thousand views. So imagine twenty thousand people have turned up here. 
Uh, I don't mind sharing locations, but uh, people take advantage, especially people who is not really loyal to to the channel, not even subscribe or doing anything toward the channel. All they do, go to the mark, rape the marks, take take all sorts of fish, all on the side fish, and the illegal netters come and uh, put loads of nets about and then ruins, ruins it for me and the ruins it for the local people so please don't ask where I'm fishing when I'm, when I'm bass fishing especially uh, I'll get loads of abuse and people saying why well, you're exposing the mark so from now on I'm gonna keep my bass, bass mark to myself obviously if you know the surroundings you keep it to yourself yeah um, just killing a few hours here <clears throat> be fishing somewhere else in the, in the evening be, be happy to get a one bus out here at least if not it's just nice to stay out but um stay tuned we got some fucking worms i've just seen before i've uh, counted them before and it's uh, 192 192 worms and a crab so stay tuned guys no doubt we'll see some bass later on there we go second cast and nice silver bar guys nice to hook there uh, yeah nice bass get it on up now and get it some back one of the day uh, let's have a look what it measures yeah dead on 42 it's in size but still not the season yet catching the leaf off he goes get in i wasn't expecting much here to be honest but second class we need to a fish Number two and a bus 27 for the year. I was finding four, I was took four to the hooks, I think. No, I didn't. Nicely hooked. There we go. Only a small one. Yeah, happy with that. I wasn't expecting much heat to be honest in the daylight, but turned out to be a alright session already. Already only had three cast. So happy with that. Well let's get it released now. Oh, 
<laughs> there we go. Get in. Whoa, that wave nearly took me. Anyway, get organised now. If, you, if you've been watching my videos, you know by now what rigs I'm using. But for the new viewers, just a simple wrap. Yeah, it's just a simple one up one down flopper rig but I do use panel hook on them reason being as you know these blow looks really soft using a single hook they go slide down into a ball and then when you use a bait elastic on these they split so it's good to use panel hook on these I will quickly show you and this bait needle helps a lot I'm hoping it'll uh, fish better when the sun goes. It's supposed to be going uh, about two o'clock in the afternoon, for an hour or two. But can't really argue at the moment. Three cast and two bass. There you go. If I let go, as you can see. This goes down to goes down to the ball there. Just pull it up. There you go. Load the bait there. I I usually keep the bottom hook slightly longer. If any bottom feeders like the flounder, cod, and you will you will go for the bottom hook. For the top chase up, but just just over foot long. Nine out of ten get the bass on the top chase. Like my phone's going, I think someone's trying to get in touch with me. Get this baited up now. Send it out. Hopefully, get something big out of here. There we go. Last number three, guys. Go get down up. No messing and send it back out. Chill, 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 chill. chill. There you go. Open wide. There you go. So I keep on coming. Oh, it's gonna find some big ones tonight. Off he goes. Making sure it goes back, not to get washed off. Right, it's done now. Get in! Last number 28. So 
Well, it is found. I fall onto bottom chase. Put the rig work in again. Well, I get face them up again. Send a fish bit out there. Well, bass across at the moment. Yeah, we're just thinking, unbelievable amount of bass about this year. It's only end of March, but it's been fairly mild this winter, to be fair. But we had loads of loads of rain. That might have affected uh, bass fishing. Maybe bass coming uh, in shore earlier than uh, it is. Saying that, I can see uh, snow on top of the mountains. Been a very, very strange season. Yeah, not not as many snow, but it's been very wet. But today, I think about 13, 14 degrees, very nice and warm. But it's bit at about 20 mile an hour southerly wind. I'm glad I came here. Uh, when I got here, see the conditions. Thought, oh yeah, we'll get some bus out of here. Fancy movement out there. Yeah, all I'm doing is casting behind these breakers here. You don't have to cast far out for bass fishing. There are breakers there. If you can hit them, you'll get on the fish. That's a big breaker there. Just go behind that. Probably where I'm standing, 50, 60 yards max. And you're, in, you're onto the fish then. Pretty sure we'll get a couple more out of here. Probably could have found that big one we lost there. Um, I'm not sure if the bait that finds the skewly bass. What's your go to bait for bass? Let me know down in the comments. Um, I usually go for blow look, but that I can get hold of easily on, on my way to bass, bass, on my way to bass fishing. I've done very well today on the worm, and uh, just spoke to Craig, he's on his way. Well, it's gonna be three, four hours yet. Yeah. I will find a couple more bass. If the videos are uh, over 20 minutes long, I might do two parts and do a second part tonight. Yeah, so far so good. More than expected much here, as I said before. I'm happy with that. So I'll stay tuned. What time is it now? Nearly 20 past one. It's gonna go over past about two o'clock. And uh, we'll be down the beach then. Yeah, might get into a big one then. You never know. Stay tuned. Get back to you shortly, guys. We got another one. <laughs> this boat looks definitely attracting all the skilly bass. Bass number four. Nice the hook. On the panel hook. Circle. Get it on up before getting spiked. Oh, we got these small ones. There we go. Yeah, bass number four. They're only small, can't get through these at the moment. Hopefully, we'll find that big one uh, tonight. Well, get this release now. Hopefully I find that big bass I'm after.
get this bus through this quickly. Kind of keep an eye on that for me. I missed a bite on that before. Uh, left it. We'll come back again. Right, I think it's on his small skilly bass again. Right. Okay, I've literally casted this out two minutes. And uh, on to a fish again. Right. Change the bait now. Got plenty of baits <laughs> to use. One of the problem with these blow looks, they go off pretty quick in the bucket like this. Sons are. They really don't last long. Right, get back to your shoulder guy. Check this out. <laughs> get in. There's a half a meter bass there. Constant action here. Drop hold of it before getting spiked. There we go. Biggest off the base so far. Probably near 50. Yeah. So literally, I was showing you guys the fight. Turn the camera off. And uh, I was repainting my other rod. Looked up. Rod going mantle again. I'll give this quick measure and then release it. That goes to 45. Yeah, about 50, 50 centimeter near 49. Right, get it released now, guys. Get a quick picture of it and get it released. That's the biggest one going back. To fight another day. Spike me again. Well, it turned out to be a decent session here. Laws of oxygen in the water today. Off he goes. There we go. Back in the deep blue. There it is. Oh, well, that was boss number 30, guys. And counting. Probably hit 40 tonight. Right, the best get of bait out there. No bait out there at the moment. Well, I'll sort that with that. There's the other bait. That's the other bait. Anyway, stay tuned, guys. Might use crap. See that attracts a big one. Bass number six. And uh, I dropped one before as well. On the retreat, come off. Spot the hook. Yeah, as I predicted, on the overcast now, pretty much to my left. And uh, he's still on the feed. Bass number six and the bass third to one for the year. Brilliant. Go. 
like a centimetre mark. Get it loose now. I was just beating my other rod. Out of runs. Look back. It's slack behind me. Reeled it in, and it was on. That's it. Last look. Yeah, plenty of oxygen in the water today. All these fo foams and fast love that. See ya! Quick look around. Yep. Get in. We'll soon hit that number 100. Might even hit 40, 50 tonight. Right, get that, uh, that other rod back out now. Uh, I'll probably fish another two hours here and set off and meet uh, Craig somewhere else. If that mark doesn't fish, we might come back here this evening. So, but that will be the uh, second part. I think it's going to be too long otherwise. So, yeah. Two more hours here, yeah. Probably get a few more. So, stay tuned, guys. Literally, can't keep keep up with it can't keep two rods in the water that's number seven guys another small school of bass there we go now I'm missing just gonna unhook it and then get it released before it spikes me again Yeah, we'll cast the other rod out and then put the fresh uh, worms on this one. Float around, float going again. There we go. I'll get it released now. Conditions pretty much perfect now. It's lovely. Waves crashing in. Loads of oxygen there. Fast love that. What they do, they just go into the surf looking for their prey. So anything, shellfish, crabs. <laughs> Get that. Yeah, um, Ali. Oh, get off. Yeah. Well, luckily, I've got no Ali. hooks about. That's what you get when you're fishing. You can't have a fish, probably got just all over my tackle for tonight. <laughs> yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, it looks perfect out there. It's going nice low overcast. Now, see, if you can't control your dogs, just put them on the lead. If I didn't scare you away, you'd probably piss all over. Uh, tackle box. Happened many times. Thing is, they don't even apologize, most of them. 
Going a couple of years back, or a few years back now, this dog came and pissed all over the uh, uh, rod or chipper, I can't remember. This lady said, oh, what's the matter? Well, you should just seen him. <laughs> dog just like literally pissed all over the chipper that he was. Or tackle box, I can't remember. She goes, what, what's, what's the matter? I said, you know, not see. She didn't even apologise or anything like that. She goes, go wash it. Yeah, I'll wash it with the salt water and wreck it. Yeah, uh, if you can't control your dog, put them on the lead. Simple as. I could have a hook hanging around here with a bait. Luckily, I'm not going to spare a bait uh, ready. Yeah, um, what time is it now? Quarter to three. <laughs> to be honest, I wasn't expecting as busy as this. I was hoping to wrinkle at least one out. But, um, can't complain. Biggest one to probably about 50 something. Yeah. Seven bass landed. All released to fight another day. Probably give another hour here. And I get back and pick some food on the way. Uh, meet the last night. Hopefully, get get them on the fish. Uh, they fished with me uh, last month. Travelled all that way, all that way, and uh, blanked. But well, they didn't stay long. It was a pretty pretty poor session. Anyway, don't want to keep talking. Need to save my battery as well. On my own halfway through. You know. so save rest of the battery. On to the next session. If I get anything decent size. Turn the camera back on, if not. Thanks for watching. This will be the first part of the big bass hunt. The biggest bass I've had so far was uh, around this time of year, last year. Uh, 62 centimeters, five and a half pound mark. So there will be some uh, big bass lurking about now. Yeah, if I don't get back to you, so thanks for watching. Hopefully, uh, you made it this far. Any questions, just drop it down below and I'll try and get back to you guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the part two. Well, I'm back again. Told you I'm not gonna turn the camera back on, but I said I will if I get in that decent side bus. Last cast. And Get in. Size of that. Biggest of the day. Definitely over 50. Lovely silver bar. If I get it quickly measured and get it released now. Beautiful. Oops. There you go. <laughs> There we go, bit of fidgety one, 51 centimeters. Last cast, last look, and get it released now. Lovely, number 10. Yeah.